beloved, on December 21st, 2017, in a dream, I was taken to some sowing fields. It was a wide plain, and I saw how many worked the land with enormous machinery. There I saw that many people were sad because their fields were no longer as productive as before, and I saw how the food shortage came and many suffered because of it. So at that moment, I was taken to a place where there were many apartments. It was another scene, and there were buildings. These buildings had three floors, and these buildings on the outside, these floors had balconies. There I arrived, and while I was reaching them, I could see on the balconies that there were people, and when I focused well who these people were, then I saw that they were Adventist pastors. They were all well-dressed, and they started talking between them. When they saw me, that I arrived with the other brothers, they all began to murmur, and some of them came down towards us and asked us what were we doing there. Then a sister who was with me answered, This, this is the reason. So this sister had a paper, a writing, and one of them yelled at her that no, not to read it, to wait because the board had not yet met. But with all and that, I saw how those pastors got angry at us and yelled at us to leave. So we left there and I told the sister, show me the paper. Then she showed it to me and I could see what was written there. What was written there said, many, many, tackle you parson. Then I was very surprised, very perplexed, very scared because I understood what was said there. Then I exclaimed, Lord, help them. But the Lord was not made wait and answered me. They already had your pay because they rejected the saint of Israel and taught to believe in men rather than in God. So I left that place. I was crying. Every pastor who was there, I knew them had spoken with them in the past. We had discussed the word of God, but it was very sad because now this was happening. I already felt that their faith was cast. It had already been dictated to me that way. So in the moment of the affliction, of the anguish, of the suffering, under this declaration, in those moments, I woke up, and these words were quoted to me. There is a way that seems right to man, but its end is the way of death. At that moment, I stayed meditating on all these people, these pastors, who, having such a beautiful, wonderful faith, knowing the right path, therefore decided to retain this path in not exposing it or not following it out of love for whatever comes between them. So this is very sad, dear brothers, but I have to expose it because that is how it is shown to me to expose it. May God grant that each one of us are not following men but that we are following the King of kings and Lord of lords. May the Lord bless you.